Welcome back everyone and in today's video we're going to be doing a 14 day forecast to the 20 day forecast because we will go a bit further on um, into the extended range. So at the moment we have got a low pressure in the Atlantic, we're trying to build high pressure over Scandinavia, a lot of low pressure though and we will not be bringing in anything cold yet, we'll bring in the mild westerly winds from the Atlantic. So not mild, it's a bit cooler lately. So let's have a look at the precipitation for you guys. If you, can you guys spot the UK? I can. Well, cause I know all the models. So the UK is here. You probably can't see it cause of all these showers and bands of rain, a big band of rain just going over the country. And we've got another massive band of rain. What will be incoming over the next few days? So at the moment, the 850 HPA temperatures are looking milder than average. We're not, we're not cold in the moment. We're in the yellows and oranges, so we're not cold. The equivalent temperatures were only in the light blue. And if we want, if we want cold weather, we really want this up here, where I am circling right now. So we're not anywhere near cold just yet. But in the next few days, we are looking interesting. So. Let's do this. Okay, off we go. So we carry on bringing that wet, windy and unsettled weather. And if you guys didn't know, high pressure, what is in the yellow, orange and red, means calmer weather and drier. And low pressure means wetter, windier and more unsettled. Um, the high pressure doesn't mean warm weather and the low pressure doesn't mean cold. It just depends where the wind's coming from. So if it was coming from the south, it will be warmer and if it comes from the north it'll be colder so let's carry on we carry on bringing these mild winds up and then we start to take high pressure up to scandinavia and this means we can start dragging in an easterly wind the low pressure um is still above us and we will be bringing in sort of a northwesterly so if we look at the precipitation for then we will be a bit um maybe a little bit more drier um yeah but we still got lots of weather fronts pushing in on the 28th so we will have a look at the temperature um the temperature's going um still we're in the yellows in the southeast of the country but we are in the green, so quite a bit more cooler than we have been seeing. And the equivalent temperature is looking like this. We have going a tiny bit cooler, but not much really. So as we carry on onto Monday the 28th now, high pressure carries on building and we try to bring in any silly wind. But I don't think it comes off just yet. So we carry on building oh, i've gone too far there uh, we carry on building high pressure um up to our north so if we see the low pressure was here wasn't it we were in that northwesterly then the high pressure um toppled over on top of us we start bringing in them westerlies again high pressure then builds over us so we'll be going a bit dry there if we look at the precipitation um I will show you guys. As you, oh, we're still looking a bit wet, aren't we? Even though we're over the high pressure, um, we're still looking quite wet. The temperature over the high pressure will be actually colder. It's saying, let's have a look. Um, they're a bit odd, aren't they? These ones. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong precipitation, aren't they? Actually. So yeah, we will be a little bit drier, and the temperature for on this run would be yeah milder, as I said. I was looking at the six Z and said the zero zero Z, guys. Sorry about that. But it's looking significantly milder than average there, isn't it? Oh dear, it's not looking colder at all. 
So we will carry on to the end of this run and not much, not much at all, is there? Not much at all going on in that one. So now we'll go to the six head, see if there's anything more interesting on this one. So we'll go to, we'll move to the six heads on all of these. We don't want to get mixed up like we did, <laughs> we did a few minutes ago. Six head. There you go. I don't know what this one's doing. Is it, are all of them on the six head? I think they are. Yep. Okay. Right. So I think we're we're all on the six head now. So let me just check we're all on the six head. And then we will get into this. Okay. Right, guys. So what do you guys think we'll be having any cold weather on this, this run? I think it'll look a bit more interesting, to be honest. So we will go to, and we'll start off. So it's same as the start of last one. We have wet, windy, unsettled weather coming off um, a westerly wind. So... Not much happening there, is that? And really, we've got lots of low pressure over the country. It'll be quite windy there as well, so if you guys understand that, weather central, the precipitation is looking like this for you guys. The precipitation, we are very wet, as we all expected, and quite windy and unsettled. No surprise there, is there? No surprise there. Okay, so. We will go over here and we will carry on. So, as I said, we carry on bringing in then westerlies, nothing much cold, carry on bringing in them westerlies, so nothing interesting going on there. So we carry on, high pressure starts to go north, this is interesting isn't it? We start to bring more of like a northwesterly, so it'll be a bit cooler, high pressure starting to build over Scandinavia, that's interesting, some low pressure here, what would try and build into the country i think still got low pressure bringing wet windy and unsettled weather to the uk at this point now maybe in the southeast a little bit drier then we start to bring in a bit of a north westerly until the low pressure blocks it off there we carry on and high pressure starts then building up and connecting we've got a huge scandinavian high going from all the way here all the way up to here um, and we have low pressure here and if we start bringing in easterly wind with that trough of low pressure we'll be bringing snow into the uk so let's have a look at the temperature we are currently there so this looks a bit more interesting doesn't it everyone so if we look at the yeah we are a bit drier aren't we there um still got rain around but still got rain around not as much though um on this one um temperature now we will go to 168 and you can see we are starting to bring colder air in from the east so that's a bit more interesting there then the equivalent temperature is looking like this we are looking not much colder on the equivalent temperature so still not that cold just yet so we will carry on as we carry on that low pressure um sticks underneath us and this is interesting now we start to take high pressure towards greenland and scandinavia and this causes a proper blocking pattern and we bring in very cold these silly winds 
And now if we look at the precipitation, I think we'll be looking a bit more interesting because of this. So I think we'll be bringing rain from the south, so a different pattern here. I mean, it could be snow, couldn't it? So snowing. Yeah, we are wet there. And if you have a look at this, it's looking very interesting. Where were we? Where were we? We were on 216. Um, we started bringing easterly winds in there, but what will we look like at this point? What do you guys think? We are bringing the easterly winds in, and we have got the minus five starting to push into the country. But the interesting part here is this big cold pool of air sitting over and next to Scandinavia. So if we carry on bringing the easterly winds in, we'll start digging that into the country. So we'll carry on here. So, 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 um, now we will look back at the charts here. So, now we will, what will we start doing here? Will it go colder or will it stay the same? What do you guys think? I, I'm not sure. Yep, we've gone back to the start of the run there. Let's go back to where we were, everyone. So, we were here. Um, high pressure, yeah, it starts going up there, doesn't it? We carry on. Uh, we carry on bringing in them cold easterly winds. We won't look at the precipitation this time because it's too far away and it won't be reliable. But we will definitely look at the, not the precipitation... We will definitely look at the temperature. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, dear. Right. Um, wow. That cold air has come into the UK and we had some low pressure down here too. What will be bringing a lot of snow into all parts of the country so this is a bit more interesting isn't it here what do you guys think of this this runs a lot more interesting than the others and we are in the dark blues and the purples so that's where we want to be for cold weather all right so we'll carry on do we carry on bringing in the easterlies we do carry on bringing in the easterlies and we carry on bringing in the easterlies. Oh, this is looking interesting. For people who like cold weather, this is looking very interesting. We carry on bringing in the easterlies. And we carry on bringing in the easterlies. So by the end of the run, we are still in cold weather. Not as cold now, though, because the high pressure has retreated back down a bit. But we are still in very cold air. So we are definitely looking a lot, a lot more interesting, aren't we? A lot more interesting. Uh, the best, the most interesting part I thought was around here. Let me show everyone. Not there, here. Around 300. Was it 300 or was it 300? Yeah, there. That looks very interesting. So... I think that's going to be it, guys, for today's first video. And we know what the title will be, don't we? We know what the title is going to be for this video. Um, December turning wintry. So I don't know if any of you guys expected that. I definitely didn't. But that's what we've brung in, isn't it? So... Um, that's what we've brung in. So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching this video. In fact, everyone, we have gone over 10 subscribers now, so thank you everyone for that, and we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.